In this question, we are asked to find the size of angle X. And they said point O is the center of the circle. So how can we find X here? We are given the sizes of three angles, 40 degree, 25 degree, and 24 degree. And we are expected to find the size of angle X from them. Let's start through triangle ABC and see what we can get from it. In triangle ABC here, two of its angles are known. But the third one is unknown. So we can label the unknown angle B and form an equation since the sum of angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degree, 40 degree plus 25 degree plus B will be equal to 180 degree. 40 plus 25 is 65. So this will be 65 degree plus B equal to 180 degree. To find the value of B, we subtract 65 degree from both sides. So we are going to have 65 plus B minus 65 is equal to 180 minus 65. 65 minus 65 is 0, so we forget about it. B is now equal to 180 degree minus 65 degree is 115 degree. So B is equal to 115 degree. And that means this angle here is 115 degree since it was one we labeled angle B. So we can go ahead and replace B with 115 degree. Now if you look at this angle here, this angle is an exterior angle of this triangle, triangle ACD. And in geometry, the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the two interior angles that are opposite to it. And that means the sum of this angle and this angle must be equal to this angle which is 115. So we can label this angle P and this one Q and form an equation X plus P plus Q plus 24 degree is equal to 115 because this angle here is X and P while this one is 24 and Q that is hope you understand but what are the sizes of angle P and angle Q if you look since both line AO and line OD are both radiuses of the circle. That means line AO is equal to line OD because the radius of a circle at all points is equal. And hence, triangle ADO is an isosceles triangle, meaning angle P here is equal to angle Q. So to find the size of angle P and angle Q, we need the size of this angle here. If you look at this angle, and this angle you will notice that both are formed from the same arc one to the center of the circle and the other to the circumference of the circle recall in a cycle if any two angles are formed from the same arc one to the center and the other to the circumference the sizes the size of the angle formed at the center is twice the size of the angle formed at the circumference so that means if this angle here is y this must be equal to 2y or let's write it there. But what is the value of angle Y? Let's come back here. Since this angle here is 115 degree and is on the same straight line with angle Y, that means 115 plus Y is equal to 180 degree because the sum of angles on a straight line is equal to 180 degree. So to find the value of Y now, we subtract 115 from both sides. So Y is now going to be equal to 180 degree minus 115 degree which equal to 65 degree since the value of y is equal to 65 degree and the size of this angle is equal to 2y this angle will be equal to 2 times 65 which equal to 130 now we got this angle here to be 130 coming back to this triangle as a whole since this angle is 130 to find the values of P and Q, we subtract 180 from 180. Now, 180 degree minus 130 is 50 degree. So therefore, so therefore, P plus Q is equal to 50 degree. But recall, P is equal to Q. So therefore, P is equal to 50 degree over 2, and Q is equal to 50 degree divided, divided by 2. Here, there's 25 degree, and this also 25 degree. Now, come back to this our earlier equation here x plus p plus q plus 24 equal to 115 
Substituting the respective values of P and Q, we're going to have X plus 25 degree plus 25 degree plus 24 degree equal to 150. 25 plus 25 plus 24 is equal to 74. So we're going to have X plus 74 is equal to 115. To find the value of X here, we subtract both sides by 74 degree. So this will be equal to X plus 74 minus 74 equal to 115 minus 74. 74 minus 74 is 0. 115 minus 74 is 41. So x equal to 41. Therefore, this angle here, angle x, is 41 degree. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel and watch out for more videos on geometry and other topics in maths and also engineering based courses. Thank you.